And welcome back, everyone, back to uh, the Gold Coast and the Australian Open. We're back for the uh, ladies' round of 32 and a game between uh, Kelly McEachern and Tania Gillis. Uh, Tania is a uh, Queenslander, local girl from uh, somewhere in your area of Hollywood. Yep, they're at Elgester, in the Cunningham district, on the south side of Brisbane, southwest. Just sitting here with their, they've just finished their roll up and they'll be uh, into the game shortly. We've got a, a lovely uh, sea breeze has just picked up. It's really slight, but uh, the speed the greens are going, I'm sure it'll have some effect on everything. And we'll just pass over to looking for some results. So, just as the hooter gets underway, I'll just run through some quick results from the last session, uh, some highlights. So, in the men's round of 256, it was Graham Ross defeating Blake Nairn. Nathan Pedersen, well, he did it pretty easily in the end over Kane Nelson, 21-6. That was uh, touted to be a big game there. Peter Brown over Chris Oliev, 20-3. David Cahill knocked off Jesse Narona. Glenn Pitts over Nathan Black. In the round of 64 for the women, it was Sarah Boddington over Kira Burke. What a game that was, 21-9. Debbie Logan over Jesse Cattell in form. Jesse Cattell, 21-13 there. And Christina Christick, Dawn Heyman. Well, that's a match worthy of a final. Christina getting over Dawn there, 21-20, to 20, as close as it gets. Thanks very much for that. The uh, first ball's just gone down. Tony has obviously won the, won the toss and has the jack. Has thrown a pretty long end from the tee, almost to the next tee. And uh, just dropped one nicely in the back there. She may have seen Kelly's first game and realised that uh, don't take her on on those short lengths. Yeah, you might be right. I've got some advice. Her last game was a was a was a long one. She uh, and just got up twenty one to nineteen, and and just before the buzzer as well. Oh, fantastic by Kelly there. Same again. First ball straight on Jack. Very slim into the first game this morning. So a little sea breeze is starting to come in. Yeah, it's just enough to ruffle my papers here, which is a. Uh, Tony, you're going to get a sit on the oh, ball. Fantastic Onto the shot. jack. Nice result. Settle the moves down round of 32. Tony has only been bowling five years. Started a career at uh, Jindalee Bowls Club and now at Elgester. Good old... Uh, and, and Jindalee were speaking before about how they were recovering from the floods and that out there and, and, and good on them so a big shout out to that club and uh, word on getting through some really tough times um, but yeah Tony has won some a, a real mixed bag of uh, of, a, of club events uh, mixed pairs club fours uh, club pairs and she was in the state sides uh, or they won the state sides this year as well and it's showing now here comes another fantastic bowl it's going to just bounce off Kelly there oh stuck outside so still holding one Just crossing, I think, there. Just a little bit. <coughs> Just under. The marker again, uh, brought to us by, sponsored by Apia is uh, Bron from Monto. Let's say that'd be two. <coughs> Could even possibly be three. I'm not sure about that uh, other bowl just behind the maroon. Angles can be very, very deceiving. Yeah, there are a couple of rinks away from us this time as well, so it's a bit further away for us to see. You might see on the stream in the background a good crowd coming out to, has come out to watch the uh, Gold Coast obviously turning on an absolute ripper. Um, a lot of the other games on the other rinks have finished, so there'll be uh, hopefully a lot of people here watching this. Kelly's having a little bit of a search here. It's going to just duck under. 
Yeah, still 20 degrees here on the Gold Coast. Very, very warm in the sun. Yeah, yeah. Certainly feeling like a post-lunch nap. <laughs> a little while ago in the sun. Oh, searching for the paddles. Paddles. So it is. So strong start. Start by uh, Tanya. Great way to start that game. She'd be nervous as a cat in a hot tin roof at the moment. Round 32 of the Australian Open. Coming up against a <coughs> Canadian international. Representing Canada in both the pairs and the single disciplines at the next World Championships starting in August. Late August here on the Gold Coast. Confident with the jack though. She threw that T to T spectacularly. Look at that. That's a, that's a hard thing to do. Not lose it into the ditch. See how this first bowl goes. We, we noticed in the games that we've covered so far that first bowl is so important. I know we keep harping on it, but it just makes it that much harder for the opponent if you nail it with your first one. It's not too far away. Yeah, a couple of feet there behind Jack would be handy if nothing else. Here comes Kelly's first one. As soon as she's got the pace. Struggle with the grass a bit on in the first end. Seems to have it pretty well nailed here. I think that one's just about as far short as the other one is long. Yeah, be a close measure. Green still look to be running extremely well. As the afternoon wears on, the green will drop a little bit of pace. You got the jack. Oh, it just slides past. A little, yeah, again, a little touch, but it's nothing near it to bash into. It's hard to hit a, a bare jack like that and move it back to your own bowls. Still just a draw on this end. Fantastic. Nice correction. Changed hands. To find a new line and the weight. But undoubtedly has shot with that one. Or have I called too early? Oh no, she's definitely got <laughs> shot with that one. <laughs> well, the marker was pretty confident. She put the paddle in the air. Oh, she did? Good. Got number off. Is the air going to gonna slow or not? Kelly can put a lot of pressure back on Tanya just here by getting another close bowl. Seems to be a little tight, I think. A little narrow. Yeah, a little narrow. I don't think the power's there either. And short. It's going to pull up. Yeah, a fair bit. Long way from uh, T to T at the moment. The green's running a wonderful pace. This looks better. Just as long as she's wide enough, she may cut the head, but hang around. Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. And hang around she does. That's a very good bowl. Again, puts pressure right back onto Kelly. He's got an opportunity to sit the shot bowl or troll the jack back to her own just behind the head. She can play it confidently. Yeah, she'll need to correct the weight from the last bowl than she seems to have so far. I don't know if she's quite there. Oh, I'm, all right, I take that back. Has pulled in short again. Early call. Yeah. So that's uh, that'll be one to the local girl. Can we call her a local from that far away? She's a Queenslander. She's a Queenslander. <laughs> Go to the Maroons next Wednesday night. What 
quite peaceful without that soccer game going on behind us. It is uh, beautiful and quiet again. It's well, there is a slight breeze coming over. It's not howling through this. It's um, looks like a we're in the middle of a big city with all the towers around us, but it's really quite um, yeah, quiet and peaceful, very still. And I think the the crowd is uh, looking quite intently at this these two games, especially you know where it is the round of thirty two and the the. There is some really intent-looking faces around. That's a very good start again by Tania. Yeah, strong. Just a little bit short, but it's definitely quality bolt. Puts a bit of pressure back on Kelly. Wales is just about taken out by the local wildlife. Kelly's getting closer. Yeah, she's... Seems to same as last time, about the same distance back as it is, uh, as the shorter one is, as Tanya's bowl is. One thing we know for certain is, um, despite being down at the moment, Kelly's certainly not going to uh, going to die wondering. She will, she will catch up and she will get there. But uh, Tanya's certainly putting it to her at the moment. Very good speed, Just missing a line a little. Notice. Kelly looking to take two feet off. No mean feet. Over a rather long length end. Very easy to overcorrect in this situation. But she's done that very well. Absolutely. Looks like shot to me. It's tough to tell again, but that angle would suggest, you know, similar, similar distance short, but certainly closer to the line. Test Hollywood's geometry. <laughs> Bit of Pythagoras theorem. <laughs> In what way? A right angle triangle. <laughs> Isosceles, something like that. Well, I think that was a good idea there from Tony. I heard two balls coming up. Play confident to them. We'll find the gap and draw the shot. But, uh, considering the weight that she is, it's a pretty good giveaway that uh, Kelly's holding. Looks like it's tracking quite well as well. Getting down nicely now. Yeah, that's oh. sitting nicely at the back there. Fantastic. Almost willing to say that's three shots. Uh, bronze put up two. Of course. <laughs> means I was wrong. Of course I was wrong. <laughs> it means I was wrong. <laughs> Swap back to the forehand then. Yeah. It's, um, wow. And it's got plenty of pace on it. And it's well, coming this around. This is looking like getting a great result. Ryan fell. I think he's just still one down. If I get this call wrong, no more calls. Let's see what... <laughs> yep, just the one. Well done. And keep calling. <laughs> <laughs> Should be used to the red paddles coming from Canada. <laughs> Great line again here too. That's a wonderful ball. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Thank you very yeah, much. Absolute. Didn't lay down and knock Jack over either, over into a... Tony's bowls and there's two. What's Jack doing on the green? Jill. <laughs> two. So kicked two away and brought the measure out. I, I could be right. So we may have to make. <laughs> have to make Ronnie's been pretty good with a call though. She's been pretty much right on with the calls. She was right again. Great eye. That's why we ask her to mark on the TV ring. <laughs> you never get them wrong, do you, Ben? Um, constantly. You can ask... Um, 
No, anyone at, at the BPL, especially. <laughs> I'm thinking specifically about Aaron Tease. He's a Tease's a damn good bloke, but I'm sure I've got a whole bunch of his wrong. <laughs> Maybe it's just his bowls. I'm not sure. What are you counting them out or in? <laughs> I don't know. Somehow I usually try to give him a one score down on what he's got. Don't mean to. He's a good man. He's from one of my local clubs down there at Warilla as well. Oh, there's a great start. That's Straight back into the minimum length and bang. Absolutely playing to a strength when she gets the mat. And, uh, Sound effects are free. <coughs> Ooh, just slipped under. Gave a bowl a chance. And I don't mind that. The first time when you, you know, we've discussed before sitting just just jack high next to the jack like that, you you found um, a weight you put on it. As long as you reach, is going if you hit something, it's going to get a res good result. Um, and pushing hard like that works, especially with your first bowl. You got three to go, three to draw back in with. Yeah, you've got to give it a chance. Absolutely. Let's see what type of correction she makes on this one. And again, nice and strong. You can see with the uh, his very close multicoloured bowls how fast. They Have get a look down. at this, spectacular! Oh, that is a great shot. Doesn't get any better than that. That's exactly what we were talking about. She's certainly giving every ball a chance, which is great to see. And Kelly's not going to be far away again on the after changing a hand. It's going to slip Ooh. past, but again, got options there to sit the shot, bowl, trailer jack herself. She's had a, given herself a chance here now, so she can correct on that one. And it looks like uh, Tony has changed hands. and It's more draw weight this time, as you'd expect. It's going to just fall short. Yeah, it certainly covers off that, that side, though. Forces um forces Kelly down on her backhand. It's the best shot for her. As I said, just be to the jack. You can sit the shot ball, turn that jack around the corner for three shots, which is looking very, very possible. Yeah, there and it is. And a great ball. Absolutely spectacular. Again. What a call. He's to a <laughs> he's a two fantastic bowlers going out of the game. We've had a great day. Honey has got this on the forehand, trying to draw into the pack or to the jack, giving herself a good chance. Just going to slip past, but gave it every chance. So that looks like a, a clear three from him. I don't think there'll be any, any need for a measure at all. Very good on the card. That's even, uh, they've even got a shorter end by Kelly there. She simply brought the mat right up this time. Yep, certainly not quite minimum length, but certainly a lot shorter than uh, than Tanya was was delivering the jack. Yeah, she's put it right on the line too. Amazing. It's a definite tactic by Kelly. These shorter ends. I noticed in their first game that she predominantly played the short ends and was very, very accurate, very, very consistent. Good, consistent start there from Kelly. And Tanya looks like she's on track here to grab the jack. Oh, she really has, and stuck with it too. Great shot. Certainly don't want to be giving Tanya too much space because she just um, takes advantage of it. Absolutely. Kelly's swapped to the backhand now. And is well and truly online. Great effort. Very close, yeah. Great solder for a next bowl again. Chance for that two-foot trail, that good consistent weight, just a 
Towards it to get to the head, but stay in the head, not waste the bowl. Tani has got this one down. Looks like it's on a good track again. And finishing in a pretty good spot, all the same. from South Africa. Uh, Kelly just fell short of what she needed. But again, yeah, too, still too close there and I'm not entirely sure who's who's holding shot. I'm going to go Tani out for now. I'll stick my neck out again. But again, a really makeable shot here for Kelly. Depending on where Tani hangs up with this. Missed it all. Still got the chance of playing under her own bowl to sort of sit the shot bowl through. Even if she turns her own bowl onto the jack, it shouldn't be too bad at the right weight. Or if she uses excessive weight, she can get back to her other back bowl. Yeah, exactly right. There's uh, certainly no no need to, well, yeah, no need to be short. Definitely don't want to be short. Give it every chance and move something around. Yeah, no need to be fearful of the head. But the prime... Prime shot would be to sit the shot bowl underneath her own. She's watching it intently. Yeah, she's <laughs> certainly got the. Uh, yeah, just hold it locked on. Yep, pushed. Tanya and I could just touch that jacket a little bit and make three out of it for herself. I think that's what she was attempting last. Last time there, just to give it a, a little tap and maybe push a bit hard. So, yeah, this is coming through nicely. Sit on that and fall in. Oh, he's used it more oh, nicely. He may have just fallen out in the wrong direction. No, no real indication from the marker at this point. Once they get the score on the card first, we're on the gets. <laughs> There it is. One to Tanya. <coughs> one to Tanya, and at the end of the uh, fifth end, it's one to at 5-4, low-scoring game, which probably means we'll be here for a while, which is great. More bowls. 100%. While the jack's going down, uh, shout out to international uh, viewers. We've got people from New Zealand, from South Africa. Um, is that Shamir from Malaysia? And uh, hello to everyone. And Etienne, uh, yeah, lovely way to start Saturday morning with the coffee and bowls. Uh, sadly, we'll be finishing in a couple of hours, and I don't think I'll have a coffee. Guarantee I won't be. <laughs> That's, uh, gone through a couple of feet there, or a few feet. She's, but the line is sensational. Yes, mate, we're looking at about, I would suggest about 16 seconds on the green at the moment. It hasn't slowed up from lunchtime at all. Um, but I'll chuck a timer on it for you and we'll see what we can get. Again, one's as far long as it is short. Every long end seems to have started like that at the moment. Something to notice. I think she might have overcorrected a little on this one. Yeah. Now the line again. Who's going to be first to jump on top and take advantage for the end? Seems to be running quite well. It's a very good correction. Still leaves Tanya a little bit of room. It's a fairly longish end, so I'd say your call of 16 won't be a pretty good 
indication of the, the pace of the green? Yeah, just time, timed out um, last bowl at 17 seconds. As Hollywood said, it's a pretty long end, so it's 16 um, is probably about right. And uh, on these fantastic greens at Broadbeach, real, real, a real uh, credit to Gold Coast, Bo- Gold Coast Bowls, this club. I was uh, speaking to... Speaking to Kelly earlier about it, and she said the greens one and four here are the two best greens in the world, she says. And uh, any changes to that, <laughs> she said she'd be very upset with. And here's another good bowl. She's going to fall short a little bit, but it's in the count. Just quickly, gents, Joey's just asked about men's streaming. Yeah, we did have uh, the first three days of the men's singles, and we'll be back again for the men's singles tomorrow. We'll actually be at a different location tomorrow, out at Helen's Vale. So uh, we'll be bringing you two rounds of men's singles knockout action, um, followed by a women's singles quarterfinal to finish the day. So, yeah, it's uh, really heading up, getting to the pointy end now. Well, I'm personally excited by that. I get to see another club except for Broadbeach. I had uh, had the impression I was going to be here all week, so that's good. Well, Hellsville's got a fair bit of construction going on at the moment as well. Yeah, that's push a through. Good bowl. Yeah, spectacular. Did exactly what she needed to do, which was just essentially make it to the head. <coughs> Let's see if it's a full count. Could be. Might well just depend on that front one. Yeah, the one at, at uh, five, or s- 5 o'clock or so. This is going to stretch out your arm length, girls. They require a bit of assistance. Yeah, it's bowls. We always help each other out. Not that one. That's four. That's four. Full count. The Australian cricketers will be looking forward tonight. <laughs> Lots of them. Those, those multiples are absolutely in, uh, deadly in this game at the moment Let, you know, with the short format. It's first at 21. And uh, it's very hard to come back, especially when every end before this has essentially been you know singles and I think one multiple, that was all. It uh, skips a good break there for uh, Kelly. Now five in front. And yeah, yeah, Kelly has um, that one taking the map back a little. It's not as short as she has been throwing. A touch at a start. It's pretty close to where it, yeah, it's actually pretty close to well, just in front of where Jack was. But yeah, she's certainly thrown it a fair way. Considering how they've been playing long, long ends, it might be a pretty good tactic just to stretch it out a little bit to keep it nice and short, keep that rhythm similar to what she's just been using. And, uh, and my, uh, I just say my colleague, colleague Hollywood here has just put his jacket on. I haven't noticed a temperature change, but obviously the Queenslanders, the thin-blooded Queenslander here is uh, getting a bit chilly. Might be thin blood, but I'm thick set. <laughs> All right, fat. <laughs> now a great start here from Kelly. That's very good. Now Sarah's just asked how Kelly's in a jumper, mate. I don't know. She's from, she's a Canadian from Victoria, on the Gold Coast. I can't understand that either. She did mention that she was a little bit nippy when before when she started the game. So just trying to stay comfortable, Maybe relaxed. High performance athletes having ice baths <laughs> between matches. Mine normally comes in the shape of a seven-ounce glass. You don't bathe in it, mate. <laughs> no, but the ice. <laughs> Should I stop that on the finely tuned athlete? What type of nuggets is Kelly using today? Kelly's Kelly's on the uh, SR, SR size SRs. three. That's it. So some yeah Taylors and then uh, and. Tony has got the um, two and a half, two and a half size, two and a half dynamics. All the pretty 
colours. We still to this to this day I get the uh, complaints about about those bowls and about them flashing down the green and people feeling dizzy and I think that's exactly why you'd use them. Take a teaspoon of concrete and harden up, you reckon? <laughs> When we get a gap in play, I'll tell you a story. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, at, at the moment, we've had a, a slight length change, and I think um, Tonya hasn't quite adjusted to it yet. She's got her line perfectly, but they're certainly, well, they're definitely not a not a really tight head here at the moment. It's very open. Could say they've fallen off the back of a truck. <laughs> it's normally the way I play. Cover the corners and hopefully get one close. That's looking like three at the moment. Tonya needs to pull one out of the bag here. Or well, the game's going to slip away before she knows it. It's going to be a tidish line. She might need a bit of luck here. Jack. A little spray off a of front one, run through. That's yeah, probably it's saved a couple, I think. Yep. Just cut it down a little bit. Super short with that, Matt. <coughs> so I might as well get down and measure it. Just the one? Just the one, so yeah, definitely saved one there with that last last shot. Just bouncing a cut, bouncing her own one in and, and stopping there. And she shortened the end up again. We've just had another question about uh, pairs and fours. So we uh, we did do some pairs the other day. It sort of just depends on what falls into our, our rink, really. But I can tell you we will be bringing you men's pairs on Monday. Um, probably more men's pairs on Tuesday. Uh, some women's pairs on Wednesday. And then um, the fours final will be broadcast either. That's Thursday or Friday. I can't quite remember which, but... Um, sorry, both fours um, events will be broadcast on uh, their finals. So, um, yeah, on ringside, just uh, pairs and singles, a little bit more priority because it's a, a bit easier to stream. Fours, uh, we can appreciate that everyone gets a bit frustrated when there's plenty of people in the way. But, um, yeah, some high-quality bowls to come over the next couple of days, singles and pairs. We just need some shepherds to keep them away from the live stream so you can actually see it. That one to the back after a uh, after a pretty good first bowl there. She hasn't hasn't left it too tight to to give uh, Tanya the opportunity to knock it through. Sorry guys, just quickly, as mate just asked, asked about the score next door. It's four six to someone. We don't have a name up there at the moment, but uh, it's pretty close right now. That's Nolan Dutton and Caitlin Inch uh, competing against each other. Just see, Caitlin's picked up at least a one. So um, yeah, tight tussle over there. I think that might even be a replay of their club singles final. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but... Yeah, actually, well, just let us know if, you, if you're aware of it. Let us know on the uh, no, comment section. Ball. Yeah, fantastic by, uh, by Kelly. And it's dropped down nicely as well. Change of hands here, looking to arrive to the shot bowl. Just slipped underneath. So yeah, on the rink next door, Catlin's on the left of the scoreboard, so I can say it's uh, 
Caitlin's on five, and her opponent, Nolene's on six. So close game over there as well, which is good. Kelly just got a big excited on that one and pushed it back. It's interesting. I haven't seen this. The the distance. This is the first first game I've seen today where there's a, a lot of distance between the jack and a lot of the bowls. Usually they they're quite clustered, but uh, this one seems to be. And they maybe the breeze is playing more havoc than a, than I give it credit for. Getting the three o'clock and only around three o'clock up here, the, the green starts to go off a little bit. It's, it's probably playing into it a little bit as well. After coming off those free 16 and a half second greens earlier, now it's probably dropping back to around the 15 and a half and slowing as the shadows get longer and longer across the green. Two more shots there to Kelly. Just a message from Val. Val Febo is a uh, regular on ringside. He's certainly looking forward to coming back to us tomorrow at uh, Helensvale. He's I know he's a big Richmond fan, so we'll be uh, probably watching the game tonight on TV for Trent, Trent Cotchin's 300th. Sorry, I said a fan. He's a Richmond tragic. One eyed and can't see out the other. Yeah, that's like most Richmond supporters. Great start there. <laughs> Yeah, just fantastic. Just got one eye. <laughs> that that start there where she's um, Kelly's just dropped the ball a couple of inches behind Jack. That it doesn't get better than that. Yeah. As a lead, as a skipper, if your lead's doing that every time, you'll you know you're going to win the game. Kelly's just been so consistent with that first bowl. Both the first game we televised this morning and this game as well. I mean. When she gets her the mat at her length, she's just deadly. I mean, just so accurate, so consistent. And she's shown it certainly over the well, definitely over the two games we've seen and uh, throughout the tournament. Again, a great warm up for Kelly for the World Bowls Championships, starting in August, the end of August, running into February, uh, into December, by uh, September. Hi Sarah, thanks for your question. This is the uh, round of 32. Round of 16 comes next. It's um, the amount of entrance we've had here. It's quite an accomplishment to get to this level. And it's definitely the biggest lawn bowls festival in the world. Around 400 entrants, a uh, 4,000 entrants for the um, tournament. And that's up by. Just over 700 entrants from last year, which was a record. So this has really blown that record well and truly out of the park. I'm finding it very difficult to find enough green space to keep people playing. <laughs> what a what a terrible problem to have. Shocking. Let's see what Tanya's got here. She's... Um, Run through there and waiting for Kelly to play the next bowl. <coughs> Squeeze at the head to see where the dangers may be. Not wrong about that three o'clock. It is something I noticed in about um, watching the live streams last week. I think I, com I, think I commented on it when, uh, as I was actually one of your games, one of the ones you were com commentating last week about. You know, in the afternoon, the grass seems to change and the players really. Take some time to adjust. There's always a couple of ends in the middle of there where it gets a bit rough, and you know, this is where the, uh, the the high quality players, the high performance players, will adjust more quickly to uh, genuine amateurs like um, like me and me. So let's hope Tanya can uh, adjust quickly and start getting back to what she was doing in the first couple of ends. Seems to be coming down on a narrow line. 
Once this going under, this could yeah, possibly be another major. Yeah, John Seidman's speaking about the Canadian selectors. I hope they're all watching and uh, seeing how, how well she's doing today, if they're, well, not, if they're not here. They'd be very excited if they were watching. She's playing extremely well. They wouldn't be any happier to watch this. I mean, it's been a fantastic exhibition so far. Hard to put a bowl wrong. Trying to give uh, John Simon a shout out. I can actually see him from here. Tanya, just a little bit more. Getting a good line. Forced uh, Kelly onto a backhand. How's your speed? It looks pretty good at the moment. Wow. He's yeah, playing really very, very well. Giving this bowl every chance. Well, the other other underappreciated things here, I guess, from Tanya's point of view, if you just, just as she just misses Jack, is she did just play a uh, a, lot, a very long game in the in the last round, and you know three three games of bowls. If you, if you end up doing it long, it's pretty tiring, and it's hard to keep your form as uh, fatigue sets in. Your legs get a bit tired. And it's hard to stay down on your bowls, especially in singles. Correct. Absolutely right. There's no this rest. Is another great bowl. And when your opponent's just dobbing them on, I mean, making it look so easy, it can be very, very daunting. This looks like it's running quite well. Good chance here. Get down to that back bowl at least. Oh, that's very smart play. Well done. Well, that's going to certainly help. Watch how they wobble around there. From, a, from the distance, it looks a lot closer than it looks on the camera. Yeah, just cut it back to one now. Of course, Kelly's got it on a good line again, all on a, a, all on a weight. Just pulling up. Really didn't have anything to gain there. Could have played quite confidently to Tanya's bowl. Yeah, had had the opportunity to play, you know, even through a little bit, but Well Tanya, you're not gonna help her out here, are you? So Tanya's played here with a little more weight. Just slipped under. And another one moves Kelly on to fourteen. The break now being ten shots. There's a danger here from Tanya's point of view, mate, apart from the um, frustration that may creep in, but also to try to hurry up and try to get lots of multiples. It is a, a, a race to the end. It is a race to 21. So, it, you know, one at a time is enough. And potentially there, just by the look of that last bowl, she was trying to push her own, push Jack through and go and try to pick up three when a draw may have done. And it's very tempting because it's a very mental game. Well, that's the other thing about playing long length games. I mean, not only is it physically challenging, but mentally challenging because singles, you're concentrating on every single bowl. You're watching your opponent's bowl go down, and then you've got to concentrate on your own bowl. So there's a lot of mental stamina that you've got to bring into the game. And 
that's what high performance teams really concentrate on nowadays. They have so much help on the mental side of the game, and a lot of our game is mental. Absolutely, psychology is such a such an important part, and uh, being able to do that that same movement time and time again in a similar manner is as much muscle memory as it is um, how calm you are, how much adrenaline you have at the time, how much the the pressure is affecting you. And the calmer, calmer you are, often the better, more regular and more consistent you can be. Kelly's pretty calm. Kelly's pretty calm. <laughs> She's ice cold. I haven't seen her smi- even smile this game. She had a, <laughs> a couple, of, couple of grins last one, but this time, no. She's a stoic. She's a picture of concentration. And again, she has just trundled another one up there. That's just a fantastic ball. It looked very, very easy. Very calm and in control. And you wouldn't be able to tell by the body language language of Tania that she was behind by ten either. But uh, but you know, when it, pushing the ball in the, into the ditch there. Um, really starting to feel the pressure, though. I, I was going to say maybe, maybe an indicator of the of what's happening. Just pushing one to the back, having seen uh, seen Tania go through a bit heavy, pushing one to the back to cover's good, but still still in a in a uh, scoring position. Starting to um, struggle for weight and line at the moment. It's Tania. She's uh, I think succumbed to the consistency of Kelly and just Kelly making it look so easy. And when you're struggling that little bit and your opponent's making it look easy, it just makes you feel like it's even harder. That's it. You lose 10, 10% of your skill. 10% can be a lot when you're playing against you know, someone like Kelly who's just, as, as we see again, just dropping them on there as easy as you like. Uh, when you're playing against these elite high-performance players, you really, really need to be able to keep, keep your wits about you and keep your confidence up and just don't let things get on top of you. Uh, there's another loose ball. So this could be a three, and we'll see about the four. It's hard to tell from the uh, camera angle, and, and it's a couple of rings over from us, so wouldn't want to make that early call. Kelly's already put the mat down very short. Go on, make the call. I'm going to say three. See how many many things she put up there. Has not putting up yet? She wants to get the score on the card already. Pretty confident. It's four. See, I was wrong. That's why we don't make the call. <laughs> well, well and truly on the uh, springboard to finishing this match very, very quickly. So, I've just, uh, I've just seen the RBM Jason Pinnock from uh, the from Northern New South Wales there show up. He uh, has asked me to. Just give a bit of a plug for his Invictus Day that's coming up in a couple of weeks. They've got a lot of interest, but um, don't forget to sign up through the local Invictus mob and on, on their website and uh, go and have a great day. Invictus is a fantastic partner of, of uh, Bowls Australia and uh, those days for the veterans and that, uh, something I completely advocate. They're fantastic days. It's a, definitely an awesome partnership that we have with Invictus. We've actually got the National Defence Force team playing in these championships as well. Just slips past. Oh, there's another one in there. Just for the viewers that are on with us at the moment, um, Kelly does wrap this up a little early. We will move our cameras over and watch the final stages of the Caitlin Finch and Nolene Dutton game. So please don't go away after we've finished this game. That's right. We'll, we'll inch our way over across to the other rink. 
had to get one more in. Oh, that was a ripper. <laughs> Got to pay that one. But that was a good <laughs> shot played there by yeah, fantastic Tania. Obviously, Tania wants to keep this live stream going here for a little longer, as do we. Kelly's got this on another good line. Yeah, I'm oh. just wa watching her face this time and see if she's losing any of that cool and doesn't look like it at all. Just that intense concentration as, the, as her bowl goes down. Mm, the greens. I think the green is starting to drop a little in pace. I wouldn't have thought Tanya would be playing this side of the green with all those maroon bowls out there. Playing the... Paying to play off those two is not a bad tactic. Oh, and there's a great little edge off. there. I think her heart might have been in her throat there for a little while. <laughs> she was feeling pressure. She wasn't showing it. No. One of the. Uh, it is one of the great things in bowls is watching the the way people react to their own bowls going down a green. Some people dance. I've certainly oh. down on the south coast. I've got one one guy who stands on one leg like an emu and. Throws his arms around. He's a lovely man. But, uh, Seriously, we can put it to a rap music, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> we had a guy that plays out of, out of Bill and they call him Grasshopper. <laughs> Praying Mantis. He just, he, he stands about six foot four. He strides out and he uh, kicks his arms and legs out everywhere. It's uh, quite a sight to behold. Kelly's looking to sit this bowl through, or the kitty. Played weight with intent, just, just missed. That was awesome effort. I still can't see why Tanya's playing this hand. Yeah, it worked last time. It's hard to tell the, the view she's got of it, but uh, once again, playing in to cross and maybe just bounce off those ones at the, at the front there. A bit unfortunate, but Moving Jack would have uh, pushed her in for four as well. I'm going to say two to Tania. Confident. There's a look at the look at the green across the rinks. It looks like two, but uh, again, the camera shows a slightly different Go on the angle of it. Yep. Tapes out. So that's one. It's a fail, Hollywood. <coughs> that's one each, isn't it, mate? One for you, one for me. That's all right. We've got seven more days of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be off doing other chores for the next seven days. Uh, be running the mixed pairs out of Musgrave Hill uh, tomorrow. Hopefully, upsetting a few people in the greens at Helensvale on Monday. And then hopefully on Tuesday. And no more commentary. No, no, no more. For, I'll get the um, rinkside announcing on Thursday and Friday for the finals on the on the TV rink. It's exciting. Get to play a bit of the music, drive away <laughs> up on the on the grandstand, and have a bit of fun with the audience. <laughs> Any sweet Caroline? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> BPL favourite. Haven't we killed that song yet? <laughs> He's getting a bit dated. We should find something else. Yeah, I'm sure we can find something a lot more exciting. I'll speak to my daughters and we can find some Taylor Swift songs. We could, we could get in, I'm sure. I'm sure the YMCA would have a good run. Oh, it's it? got to be older than Sweet yeah, Caroline, we, surely. We don't use it as much as Sweet Caroline. <laughs> no, the old Navy guy in me. Projects, <laughs> projects of YMCA. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Something about the village people. 
Oh, knocked it forward. They're both a bit short. They changed the, the long end again. We've gone so uh, Tani has won the mat and gone almost T to T once again and uh, tricked them both. Tricked herself a little bit, I think. First three bowls down are a metre short, a little over a metre. And you can see those shadows starting to come across the green. So the green would definitely be slowing a tad. Although Kelly seems to have found it this time. That's a very good bowl. Lovely correction. Beautiful correction. Fantastic. Now you've got me thinking about music for the... Uh, <laughs> to replace that. I've got... I know. You, what do you listen to? You like you like the Foo Fighters? I'm more of a Michael Jackson fan, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> oh, that's good correction as well. Just sneaking just up a on it. Shorter, inching away up there. <laughs> it's next door, mate. Oh, Jackie Fields recommended uh, "Never Tear Us Apart." I um, assume she's a Port Adelaide fan. Kelly's interested in this one. She's. Chasing it up a little bit. I think she wants to give it a kick. Yeah. No, you're not allowed to do that. Not allowed to. No. <laughs> as much as much as we'd like to sometimes. Come on. Push. Go. No fear of this one being shorter by the looks. I wouldn't think so. She's got plenty to run into there. Absolutely unlucky. If she'd hit one of them square, they were going to be pushed up without a doubt. But just splitting them uh, took all the momentum off. It's a tough draw when all the balls are short like that. It gives uh, Kelly a chance at a free kick. Carmen Plaza says, um, another one bites the dust. Between. Not a bad song. I think you... you Junkyard Dog. Junkyard Dog. You, you and the uh, could rink, rink, uh, ringside announcing could get everyone doing... Um, and another one down, and another one down. <laughs> I was thinking, we will rock you. Yeah. Start shaking the stands. That should make it all but... Listen how far that went through. It looks different on the looks closer on the camera than it does live. Well, it's either one or two. You're going to make the call again, or is it my two? I'm going to say one. I'm going to say two. That way, one of us is going to be fifty percent. Having, having a good look. Walking round and round. It's going to get dizzy. J. Allen Doyle, as you see, Kelly is particularly, uh, does a lot of the measuring, but there's Tania for you. Wasn't even the ball I was looking at. Two. I was wrong. You were right. There you go. Yahoo. All but now for <laughs> Kelly. Brings the percentages back up a little. Would have been a long way back up from the ground after measuring <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, hardest shot and bowls to get now. The last one. Let's see if Tanya can uh, make a mess. I've seen seen players come back from here before. It <coughs> would be one for the ages. It would be. They'd be up and cheering. Oh, she's. First one's a good metre short. Well, that is probably the worst bowl she has put down for a first bowl all day. I'd agree with that. She has been remarkably consistent. And we're trying not to be critical. But we haven't played a bad shot from here yet. But it is our job, that's it. <laughs> and same again. We had uh, one as long as it, the other one is short.
this looks like a great correction. Very, very good. Yeah, she certainly does not put one, make a mistake and then uh, make it again. No. Kelly's corrected quite well. Which has, again, put a lot of pressure back on her opponent. So almost everything right there, just missed it by a centimetre. It is a game of, uh, I was about to say inches, I, will, I have switched to metric, so it's a game of centimetres. You do have to be centimetre perfect to get uh, a result on that one. Just missed out. Kelly's got another very good line here. She's corrected a line on the last one, I think, has a weight. Just sailing through a little bit. Again, enough to enough to be back, but still scoring, still counting. Yep. While the looks may be just out. And you would think that Tani is going to be up, so it's left a gap as well. Which she, sometimes can be wowee. just as crucial. Wowee. Gonna pop it out clean. Onto oh, the other one. Took a lovely shot. Took both out by the looks. Yep. Wow. Well, yeah, fantastic shot. A lot of room left there, but uh, for the position she's in, she's yeah playing very aggressively still, which is great to see. It is possible to fall back into your shell and uh, and just give up. Still that pressure of getting that last shot. Absolutely. Barbara Green says the, uh, the marker is excellent. Yes, Brawn is wonderful. And uh, we appreciate all our volunteers here and all the volunteers that come down for all the, all the bowls events, club-wise or at this level. And uh, the sponsorship brought here by AP is uh, fantastic as well uh, for the uh, retiree insurance. And again, Kelly has put the pressure back on Atania. Do or die here. And she's having a look. Oh, she's kicked Jack across. Oh. Did she kill it? And that goes on to the respot. And that is going to be very close to game, set and match. I'm going down. Did they shake hands? I missed No, not yet. The marker hasn't indicated anything either. Maybe that front bowl is still a shot bowl. Very hard to tell. No indications from anybody, really. Oh, the measure's coming out. I'm not calling this one, mate. No. You reckon, Lockie? Blue? No. That's it. That's <laughs> the... Oh, jeez, we... <laughs> well, that is game set and match to Kelly. Oh, three awesome games of bowls today. Congratulations to Kelly and also to Tania. She's going to learn a lot from that, only being a five-year bowler. It's going to take a lot of positives away from her, her uh, experience here at the Australian Open. And as we mentioned, viewers, just stick with us. Uh, Lockie's going to go and move these cameras and we're going to slip straight across to the rink beside to see the finish or... Of the Caitlin Inch and Nolene Dutton game. There's only two shots involved at the moment. We're going to be in for a great tussle over there. I really couldn't be more impressed at the moment with uh, with Kelly. I haven't, uh, haven't seen much of her, her before, but uh, the, the consistency over the last two games I've seen, and I have to assume from the first game as well, it was, it's just fantastic. Excuse me. <laughs> as I do my zip-up. No, it's... Uh, she keeps that type of form up. Uh, Kelly's going to go a long way. She's a threat. Down to the final 16 now, so it's... Uh, it's uh, <coughs> and carrying some great form. Yeah, she's obviously um, really, really enjoying it up here. She's played here um, before. She's you know, spoke about how... Uh, I said before about one and four being her favourite uh, ring, or the, what her opinion, the best rinks in the world. So, excuse me, greens in the world. And... Um, yeah, she loves it here, and she's you know, certainly put the wind up some players. She continues to add, especially when she gets gets Jack. If she continues just to just to get ones and, and control the Jack and control the head the whole time, 
as she has been, then uh, she could beat anyone. Certainly, certainly showing the form to do. Yeah. Mind you, there's still some very, very high quality <laughs> bowlers left in this field. <laughs> exactly You're right. Defending champion Kelsey. Well, we're getting to the uh, yeah, the cream of the crop now. Anyone left in the final 16 is an amazing bowler. Not to take it away from Tania either. She um, the first couple of ends, I thought, wow, this is going to be a long game. I think I even said it. And then we, uh, and just as the grain changed, I think. Kelly managed to adjust just a bit more than Tanya, and it, and it shows in the score. Oh, and experience too. Like that's three oh. games yesterday, three games again today. Uh, the concentration level for playing singles, and being only a five-year bowler, it's not a lot of singles matches that she would have played in her in her short career. Whereas Kelly and uh, some of the other players that are out here would be playing singles all the time. Yeah, the high-performance guys seem to play more singles. Definitely play more singles. Um, than a lot of the rest of us do. I certainly don't play singles anymore because I've got no one to blame but myself. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not a particularly don't particularly enjoy singles myself. It's a um, I find that I like the team environment a bit better. I find it tough just to just to play for myself, and that's another mental barrier. I think that I should try to overcome. Yeah, I'm leave that one alone. <laughs> As we get a look at this end, and, uh, Caitlin's. Uh, very close. I'll just run through the first. And as you saw, finishing jack high, or just jack low. The New Zealanders get that very right with jack low, jack level, and jack high. Caitlin's going to finish this off, or is she just going to know? It's very good. So Caitlin again on... Uh, on uh, red lines, no, sorry, SRs, uh, size three. I'm not sure. Nolines are a. They look. They look um, very they aero. Are, they're an aerodynamic. I'm pretty sure. I think they're either a two or a three. Have a look at this. Very good ball. Sure, Caitlin will give this a fair go. Again, you can sit the bowl, trail the jack. Just going to fall under. Got a very good cider for her next. So I don't know anything about Nolene. What do you know about Nolene? Oh, she's been a very, very good bowler for us up here in Queensland and the uh, Moreton Bay and Sunshine Coast districts. She's a very, very accomplished bowler. Pretty sure that... I'm, no one corrected me from earlier, but I'm pretty sure that... Uh, she may have played Caitlin in the final of the Kiwana singles. I know that she plays with Caitlin in the fours at Kiwana and they've won through the Champion of Champions. So these two girls know each other's game pretty well. A little bit indecisive on the mat. Give it credit, it's good to take good to um, be able to take your time on the mat. And make a decision, as I made a joke about before, sometimes it's easy to get two shots in your head that you could play and try to play them both, and it's, uh, it never works. No. And that's a pretty good shot. That's another counter, but it's kind of set up a shot here for Caitlin. She can play with that with a bit of confidence there now and uh, sit the balls, trailer jack. Mark out indicate one or two there, mate, did you say? Uh, I think it looked like a one down, but it was a very quick call, so I missed it. Caitlin's taking some time to clear ahead as well. She looks like she's going to play the backhand. I'd say with a bit of weight, try and take both out. Thanks, uh, thanks, Buddha. Yeah, Nolene is a dual Australian Open pairs champion with Emma Spicer. So you're right, she certainly oh, can. What, what a, a shot. Magnificent. And that, killed it. But that's not looking real pretty on the spot. On the team, no. Might be just the one down. Yeah, she... Yeah, she's knocked one out, which saves one, maybe. Certainly making, she's not only making sure the, the jack's in the right position before they uh, get a measure out. It's falling off the end there. Stand on it. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> 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 Go 
could be a green keeper out there. Chock the Jack. One of the, uh, one of the great Bowls Australia ITOs is standing right there at the back of the uh, rink there. Well, here comes the, one of her, her subordinates. Sandy's there. The queen of our ITOs. Definitely the queen, and she'll, she'll tell them exactly what's what. Oh, yeah. Puts it in the right position, pushes down on it. <laughs> well, I Just never hope the grain keepers aren't watching that. <laughs> That's almost as bad as standing on it. <laughs> Someone's reacted with a cranky face on the uh, Facebook feed. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> that was clearly a grain keeper. So they're obviously measuring for shot. Yeah, this is a tighter call than it looks. Oh, Caitlin's yeah. got it. Oh, they've caught now. Very good. The ITO, the umpire at the back had already had the uh, orbital in his hand. So one to Caitlin. There we go. It's a very, very good drive. Must have had a fair idea that she had the spot covered. Here in the opening, the conditions of play. Respot the dead ends. That's right. If you haven't seen, uh, if you're new to bowls, then usually when you, you hit the jack outside of the rink, the... Uh, it's deemed dead. Yeah, it's deemed normally, normally replay, but the, the conditions of the Australian Open on a, a time limit game, we've gone with the respot. It's becoming more and more fashionable around the world. Especially in timed games. Absolutely necessary in timed game. And often it's um, something that, has, that, that does come mostly in social bowls as well. So if you're playing on a fishy club socials on a Wednesday or Friday afternoon or in the, for the ladies in New South Wales, like say Tuesdays and Thursday mornings, um, yeah, you'll often just have the re-spot because... Uh, we don't want these games going on forever into the darkness of night. Not like the old 25N pennant games. I do too. I like a longer game. I'd like to... Uh, I still enjoyed a 31-up th uh, singles game. That's the... That's a long game. That's the only one I don't like. <laughs> I can't walk for three days after one game of singles. Uh, alone. It was good when I was a, a younger bloke playing against the older blokes, I guess. T to T, 30, uh, 31 up. That'll sort you out. Yeah. Marlene's got a really, um, similar to Caitlin, really compact, nice and, and simple delivery that just seems to... Drop in, but the shadows are coming across now, so let's we'll see how complex this game actually gets. The heads will get a bit wider as the players adjust. Well, once they pick it up, it'll just get very, very tight. The green's slowing down, and bowlers are their calibre. Caitlin being a New Zealand international and the world indoor singles runner up. And the current state ladies singles champion as well, along with a thousand other titles. But Nolan is certainly no pushover. They know each other's games very well. They play out of the same club, play together a lot. Mm. I'm still thinking of that Jack push down, and uh, I've just seen David Hukins from the St George's Basin Country Club there. He's the grain keeper there, and uh, he'd be red in the face. Very angry at <laughs> seeing that. It was only a little push. It looks like he only just missed it, though, so that's good. He's calm. It was only a little push. <laughs> I'm a big man. All right. So one blue one. So catlin has got one. Still in, on that head. Shows the angles, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, 
little bit pending on the weight here. Yeah, Any light. contact on those is going to certainly help. And sneak in front of that one. Oh, I don't know. Angle of the dangle. Two to blue. Two blue. Well, nolene has got one left. What would you do here? I'd be looking out on the forehand, try a little, try it, looking for the trail of the jack. Be confident of the jack. Got the bowl just behind. But trying to draw the shot, and if you happen to touch the jack, it's a bonza with a bonus. Yeah, I'd certainly be playing down that hand that's the more more open. That's what she's doing. It's a fair, yeah, it looks nice like a fair track. Line. Oh, there you go, dead no draw. Way. Absolute dead draw. Look at that. Very good shot. That keeps Nolene in front. Yep. So yeah, five-shot buffer here. Seems you know, to have all the answers at the moment. Exactly. The first of 21 is a, a pretty handy lead, but uh, she's playing against one of the better bowlers in the world. So the challenge is still very much on for her. First ball goes here. Some tension on Nolene's face. I'm watching the from the hand movements to the jawline. She's just pushed through a little bit, but the line's pretty good. There's not a lot wrong with that. No, she wouldn't be upset with that. Put those cameras wherever you like, Lachlan. You're the boss. This looks like it's tracking fairly well. How's your speed, Caitlin? Slip past. I think I'd really like and have noticed about Caitlin's delivery is the way she really stays down um, after she's delivered the bowl. You know, when I'm coaching, I often say bowlers are posers. And the best yep. thing you can do is once you've delivered is stay there for three seconds. And both of the, actually both these ladies are doing exactly that. Do the Madonna, strike the pose. <laughs> exactly right, strike a pose. That was a very good bowl again. Caitlin's studying to be a paramedic down at Sunshine Coast University. Just one of the great names for a university ever. You want to attract some international students? Tell them you're on the Sunshine Coast. What's it mean? I think there's so another soccer game starting up behind us. Speaking of paramedics, I hope they don't need one this time. Yeah. So just to explain that, in the last game they called it off because someone um, did their knee by the looks of things. Pretty unattractive. Great game. shot. Well done, Caitlin. This is one makes its way to the head. Looking very, very good as well. Down on top oh, of yeah. it. Yeah, lovely correct. Just... Whatever you can do, I can do better. At the exactly moment. right. Just line them up at the back, and we'll keep resting on them. <laughs> yeah, good on you, Sammy. <laughs> Does look like you've got a mate there who's saying that Hollywood po Hollywood's a poser. We all know that, anyway. I haven't got any feelings. He's ruined <laughs> them. He's, he's stomped on them that many times. <coughs> Oh, that, that's the first. The first one uh, dropping a bit short. It's made Nolene have a bit of a look at it. Um, no indication from the marker as to who's actually got shot. Yeah, I think because I think she was facing away from us. I think she was holding up one for Nolene. I can't confirm that. I won't, won't make that call yet. Have a little jaunty down after it. Looks like it's got very good speed to the jack. A couple more it's rolls. Pulling up quick. Yeah, the green's just starting to lose its edge. Long.
on consideration. I really considered bowl here. That's a speed. Speed crucial here. Oh, really good ball from the Kiwi there. This one to Caitlin. And the little look Bo Peep for the second. Yeah, Mark is already walking down indicating. Yep, one it is. Brave doing that in front of Sandy. That one's pushed it right back. And let's see what she does with the jackie. It looks like it's going long. Absolutely. Let's try and some, some variants, see what uh, works for it. She's done well not putting it in the ditch there. As I said, that's a the, the longest and the shortest uh, jack lengths. They're the hardest ones to throw. And then she's chucked it, yeah, T to T there. The speed looks pretty good to there. Oh, that's a fantastic yeah, start. Uh, you wouldn't wish for much better than that if you're opening bowl tee to tee. You'd be stoked if you if you're a pairs game and you're the skip and that's your lead. Yeah, that's what you want. That's exactly what you want. Well, if I could play singles, that's what I'd be trying to do <laughs> with my first bowl. Should turn underneath, I think. But again, a very good speed. I don't have to correct much on that to to get to the jack next time. Exactly right. Yeah, just a little bit of grass, not much. Maybe even just stand on the other side of the map. It's a fairly similar line to a first. Maybe a little wider. Still going to end up in a great spot. I'm trying to work out whether she's going to play for in her backhand. She's going to stay with the backhand. Got very similar weight. She's going to be very close. Oh, just going to die under again. Yeah, it looks like it's probably just, just shorting off. Yeah. Would have been perfect if she had the same weight as the first ball. So let's see how far back Caitlin's um, second ball there is. It's that probably means she's only holding one. I think, I think it would be the one. But again, from this distance and on cameras, it's very. Very hard to uh, work that distance out. It's running nicely here. Gonna pull up in time. I might have snuck through a little bit as well. Throwing a third ball down to the head. Looking just a little bit heavy, I think. Yeah, just pushing through them. Well, sitting, it actually sat back there on, on Caitlin's bowl, so it's good home. Yeah. <coughs> Mark was indicating one. He's on a very good track again. She nailed the weight this time. It's looking better. It's a very good oh, That's a very, very good ball. Mm. Yeah, absolutely staggering to, to look at that, how far it is between Matt and Jack, and to be able to drop within 12 inches of the... Uh, of the jack at that distance is, is just a remarkable thing to do, to be able to do it twice with, with four bowls. It's, um, you, would, you almost wouldn't think it possible, but here we are, doing it fairly consistently. Yes. Trying to bowl a crooked bowl straight. <laughs> it's moved 
to the forehand. I'll probably play a bit of weight, maybe try and make connection with the two bowls. Yep. Just given this purpose. He's got a hang out there. Is it going to turn now is the question. But you could Just see not enough. You could see what she had in mind. Uh, yeah. Off the inside of Caitlin's front bowl onto the second bowl. To throw it a little bit wide. It, uh, tightens the score up a little more now. Brings it back within two. As we said, that five-shot buffy she had earlier uh, kind of rode away very quickly against a, a quality player like Caitlin. Especially when Caitlin takes control a bit, changes the, uh, the length of the head. Uh, excuse me, length of the uh, uh, of the jack there, all the way from two to T again, um, playing probably to a strength. She's um, probably a little well, being a being a little little younger and in a high performance system, she's she's quite fit. She's not doesn't have the fatigue problems that um, a lot of players would have. Certainly, I'd have fat old men like me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Sammy, you don't have to run me down. I've done enough of it for myself. <laughs> Caitlin gets a fairly handy start there. She get a handy start, actually. She pushed that beautifully down that side. It's, it's not very far behind Jack. Nolene's done well. She's just going to cross... And a little bit behind her, but she wouldn't upset, be upset with the back bowl, considering she's um, certainly not scared of playing with a bit of bit of weight, as shown last end. Well, I always say it's easy to correct bringing weight off rather than having to add it. So both girls have passed there with their first, so looking for the correction with their seconds. And, uh, this looks like it's travelling quite nicely towards the jack. It's going to pull up a little short, but very handy. Yeah, it's about similar distance. Uh, it's a bit deceptive on the camera. Of similar distance um, away as the back bowl is, or her Caitlin's back bowl. She's got one forward and one back, about the same distance away. This looks a little bit runny and yeah, she pushed it. Similar bowl to the last one. It's going to end up in a very similar spot. Tracking well yet again. Probably a little bit wider. It's coming back now. Let's see the pace. That is another counter. Enough to cover the back and enough to score. Same, same as we were talking about with Kelly earlier. The way that uh, Nolan's been playing, there's plenty of room. It's going to take a correction in weight. Well, she hasn't overcorrected. She's looking more and more like what she's done. Yep. Big opportunity here for Caitlin. If she nails this one, really puts the pressure on Nolene. That's right. Caitlin's also got to be aware that these are time games. And I know that we've uh, 47 minutes left in this session. We want to keep that pace up. She keeps throwing long ends They uh, like that. They do take more time. And uh, it will be... I think Caitlin might have done the same. Yeah, yeah, Caitlin's fallen a bit short. short. Um, Lane will need to be aware of the time as well. <coughs> You're not wrong. Taking the time to go and look at the head, which is necessary, but make sure she gets there and back quickly is a, maybe an important feature. She's there stopping and having a good look. By the marker's indications earlier, that'll be three down at the moment. Nolan's probably trying to work out whether she persists on that forehand or whether she turns over and tries to draw it on a backhand and make a correction of both grass and weight, as opposed to just trying to correct the weight on the other hand that she's played three bowls on. It could depend on whether she thinks her front bowl's in the way. If she's trying to just come back and cut it down, she could rest amongst those two at the back. No, she looks like she stayed on the forehand. What's she looking forehand? A 
awfully good grass. She's pretty interested in it. She's having mm. a little jog after it. Or is she just trying to... Is she moving Jack? Oh, that's a great bowl. That's fantastic. Just what she needed. Well considered, well <laughs> well thought out, and uh, dropped it on there beautifully. Took the time to go up and have a look and consider all the options. And uh, played it quite well. <coughs> Another tactic change, going straight back to a shorter end. Which is clever. It's just it's good thinking, continually thinking about the game, not just going through going through the paces. It's lessons again for junior and uh, and new bowlers, just to keep thinking about the game all the time. Showing that intense concentration again on the on the map. And she's dropped this about a metre and a half short. See if Caitlin can take advantage of it. Margin back out to three and only 40, 40 odd minutes left. It's um, looking very much like a time limit game, this one. Caitlin's played this oh, well. A fantastic shot. Bang. Oh, shh. Oh, got a little touch. Yep. Spray's coming up. Call it a resting toucher. And there's the uh, and there's the pressure back on Nolan. I've just noticed there's a little game of croquet at the back there. Maybe I should find out if we can go and commentate that one at the end of this too. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I would not have a clue <laughs> on the rules of that. I'd be too tempted to line up for a drive. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Four. Way far too aggressive for you. Let me run around a green with a hammer. <laughs> Don't even put a hammer in your hand. <laughs> Caitlin's on a very good line again here. Caitlin doesn't want to be touching her own bowl. She has. Oh, too accurate. Oh, and yeah. It's given a little bit of extra space. Hasn't fully opened it up, but it's certainly a, a different... Um, Different aspect now. Nolan can play, can use that outside bowl and to, to come in. There's a lot more chance of her actually getting an, um, a better shot. Very helpful marker. It's certainly not being played at a breakneck speed. It's good to see those volunteer shirts. I've worn a few of them myself over a couple of. Uh, Couple of different different tournaments, especially BPL, but uh, see the APR on the back with the who are sponsoring our volunteers and good on them. Oh, she's pushed that one, it stayed a bit wide. Well, big opportunity here for uh, Caitlin now. She can really put one down the same as the last three. It'll really put the pressure back onto <coughs> Nolene. Caitlin's very aware of the time. Oh, that's a very good ball. That's a great ball, and that kind of tucks it away. It again, takes that um, that inside edge out as a as a uh, as a play for Nolene. And, and I don't think she's got a heavy shot anymore. She needs to draw that. Probably. Which means she'll have to change her hand as yeah, well. Probably have to change over. With uh, 41 minutes left on the clock, if something drastic happens, this could be a timed out game. 41 minutes seems like a long time, but these the ends they're playing and the time they're taking seems to... Uh, someone just walking along behind the head there. Um, certainly pushing each each end out to a seven-odd minute. So Very important bowl, this one, and I think it's high wide now. Oh, it's coming back now. Oh, she may have played another absolute clinker. 
Sneak oh, through. Got that oh, inside. have a look Again, at that. The commentator's curse. I spoke about the removing that inside edge, but she's obviously got there and used it. So Caitlin's got a shot down. Now down the same same hand she had been playing down the backhand. She can look for that inside edge of her own ball and run straight onto the shot ball. Let's see if she plays with a bit of impetus. She can uh, yeah, look to push Nolene through. She's playing with weight, controlled weight. She may have pushed it a bit wide, though. Yeah, stayed, stayed out. Yeah. Another one to Nolene. Caitlin's even laying the mat for Nolene, <laughs> trying to speed the game up a little bit. And not um, certainly not implying that Nolene's using this as a deliberate tactic no. to, to to go. The race is to twenty one. She's been very deliberate in the game, yes. and she's been consistent the whole way through. Yep, well, well within her rights to be uh, consistent. She's certainly dropped the, that jack straight in the ditch, which means it comes back and Caitlin gets to to throw it when she's obviously well, just throwing all of the bowls in the ditch, and she's going all the way back to the tee. She'll go as long as she can. And then give the mat, mat back to Nolene to, uh, to lead off. Possession of the mat, yep. I guess it does beg the question with the time remaining and the amount of time that pl some players can take to to have a shot. Do we need a, a shot rate like they're similar to doing cricket, a bowl rate? An maybe over rate, sorry, as, as it is. Maybe a shot clock? Yeah, shot clock. That'll work. That's a great start. Straight on the jack, resting toucher. And, uh, pressure certainly on Caitlin. Look about the right width. Just not sure if it's going to get back. It's trying. Well, it's in a good home. Still a lot of turn on these greens for this time of the afternoon too, and with the pace dropping off the off the green, yeah, and that shadow coming across, you, you'd think would uh, you know cause the grass to shift a little bit and change the way it's moving, but it's, it seems to be very true still. Okay, let's try on the more attacking line. Get back onto the shot bowl. Jack springs to her bowl. Tell you what, this is very close. Oh, what oh, a lovely ball. Fantastic bowl. shot. Unfortunately, didn't, didn't, didn't quite get the shot out of it, but that doesn't get much better. It's opened up now because she can play with a bit more uh, intent down the, uh, down the forehand. Nolene again. Playing up options. Look at it. Playing on the back end, I would imagine trying to get to Caitlin's back ball. And she's not a mile away. Oh, that's great play. Yeah, fantastic. 
That shot still, I'd still be playing the forehand where I can't but it means I'd go through a bit stronger this time. You should still be on the back end. Oh, she's on the back end. I would have thought so. Oh, my, yeah, my ball's just back in. Still rest her own bowl or the shot bowl. Trying to get back. The plot she thickens. Two in the head there, she, you know, and depending on what Nolene does here, just pushing Nolene out for a two is a, a big result for Caitlin if, if she can manage it. Sit to stay shot. for three. Mm. Nolene's got to try and get in there somewhere without giving a shot away. Can't play it much better than she did with the last one. So she's trying something very similar. Given it every chance. Given it every chance. Oh, rolled around the back. Oh, wow. That is two sensational balls. She's got two shots out of it as well. That's absolutely fantastic. I'll guarantee one thing. This ain't going to be short. <laughs> no. Nope. There'd be ball parts flying everywhere where it... <laughs> at me and I've seen her um, have some pretty good runs in the BPL it's different on a synthetic surface though doesn't mind an attacking shot turned away from it fairly quickly yes she did and missed well onto the springboard goes Nolene only requiring four more to get out Played very, very well, Nolene. Absolutely. Really careful with her shot selection. Really considered at the at the uh, excuse me on the mat before she puts every bowl down. Well, they do know each other's games mm. pretty well. Being club members, playing a lot together. Scale Wallace, it was a great ball under pressure. Just seems to be in the zone at the moment, Nolene. She's fully, fully committed to this match. Another great start. Just seems to have all the answers at the moment. Do not rule out the shell lady. Well, shell and fall down, fantastic. Unlike the last few games we've commentated, uh, we're going to be. Caitlin's going to be looking for a for a multiple here to try and get this margin back. But here comes Nolene again. <coughs> Just has all the answers. Absolutely unstoppable at the moment. You would think that uh, Caitlin would need to try and score this end, or need to score this end. Uh, time, time's definitely a factor. She's six down. How good is this head of bowls oh, being? Fantastic. Tit no, for tat. Not only are we holding two there, but there's the, the space. This space now. Not only was sitting right on it and give something to Caitlin to come round to. But watching Nolan play, there's a fair chance she's just going to drop this on Jack anyway. The way she's been playing. Someone sitting very close to the rink, to the camera. Here 
comes to the shot. She's after it, but she's been doing that with all her third bowls since we started commentating, and maybe before, or maybe. Ah, oh, magic. Very good bowl. As I she's stressed dip- before, she needs to needs to score this end. Nolan currently holding three. This looks like good speed. The pace is right oh, to cut the two at the front here. Dropping quickly, oh, isn't wow. it? Yeah, that just stopped. Certainly not running like it was earlier. The shadows from the trees now are coming across. The sun's pretty low in the sky. Really stopped like something shot it. <laughs> I'd say at the moment, Nolan's holding three there. Yeah, absolutely holding three. Oh, there's another one that's holding game. To wait. It's got some pace oh, last ball. Well, the way they're pulling up now, I think she's going to need that pace. Oh, it's a very good ball. Fantastic. Wowzers. Just, just pulling up really quickly in that in that shade on the end of the green there. It's uh. See, and maybe she watched Caitlin's last one go down, or that made good note of what she's done before, and just you know can see that it's pulling up. So that came out of her hand like a like a rocket and did. Pull up even short of the jack. Um, but what's Caitlin got now? I think she's going to have to play forehand still through her own bowls, mm. even using ditch weight just to make sure that she's arriving. Her bowls on the run in. Well, she's got to do that or remove one of Nolan's because she's holding currently holding game. Well, it's away. Ooh, it looks Pretty wide. Good. Very wide. And waiting. Oh, it's, pulled up. it's pulled up, but I'm not sure if it's close Ooh. enough to, to cut any out. We'll, we'll soon see. Let's say the tape will come out. Yep, magic fingers. <coughs> this could be a big upset. A very good look. There's the first, excuse me. There's the first two, three, three. It is, and we are all but. So Catlin's last bowl obviously saved the uh, saved game, but as uh, Nolan's still only one one shot off. She's got again the most difficult uh, shot in the game, the last one to win. She's uh, and she's thrown the jack into the ditch again. Yep, dropped it in the ditch. (coughs) (coughs) So Caitlin's taken the mat back. And throwing it three quarter length. Just change it up a little. And another great start. Fantastic. Just a foot behind, just off the line. She'll probably be in the count at the end of it unless something drastic happens and uh, doesn't give, Kate, give Caitlin anything to bounce off. Well, whatever Caitlin's produced, uh, Nolan's just bettered it. Yeah, 5% better. It's just enough to 
enough to win every end. Not by not by much. You got to certainly got a multiple last time and, and maybe the one before, but most of the game, it's always close. Look, you obviously two players of an incredible quality here. A couple of ends where Caitlin's had the ascendancy in the end, and the Nolans just come out and played an absolute bomb to get herself out of trouble. And again, there, there's another correction. Of course, with Nolan sitting on 20, Caitlin knows that she needs to win the end. So again, that adds more pressure to it. Looks like it's tracking extremely well. That, yeah, that's a great ball. Yeah, it's a great shot. Just asking the question. Yeah, considered. <coughs> just hasn't even guessed. I think there's about just over 20 minutes left in this game. It's 20 minutes for Caitlin to, to, to come back uh, nine shots at this point. She's at least three more in, so she's going to be pushing it to get there as it is. So she's really got to get big scores. And Caitlin's well placed here again. Finish off. Yeah, yep. fantastic shot. And Snowling got left in her here. She's always... She's found the... The answer each end up till now. Here I say it, smash. <laughs> Staying with a forehand. Here it comes. Oh, she's pushed through, or oh, maybe just sitting out. Well, Caitlin's still holding two. There's Nolene chasing the, running all the way to the back. That was a very high-pitched whistle the umpire's using next door. <laughs> Hope you can all hear it on the uh, live stream because it's blowing air in your drums out. I need to remain calm and try and draw the third one here. Have a good speed to come back underneath. And you will have just done that. Not quite. I just pushed out the wrong side, so two to Two to Caitlin. Caitlin. She'll be wanting to quickly get this matter on the ground and get the end started. I'm sure both players would know that it's getting very close to the end of time. So while the mark sets the jack there, I'll just give a mention to uh, tonight at 6pm we have a, the uh, Mega Bowl competition here at Broadbeach. Uh, $10 entry uh, around at the bowls office. If you're, uh, if you're in the area, come down and have a go. It's, a, it's just a fun night and the winner takes all the money from that's, that's paid into the pot. What, the winner on fr last Friday night, was it $1,180 or something like that? Some of that, yeah. That was the one by Katie Carriage. Cartwell cake. $1,280. Yeah. Not bad for one bowl. Not bad at all for one bowl, yeah. Cartwell Kate down at, uh, from Nara. Apparently played an absolute bomb. You can play that lady, yeah, absolutely. No, I haven't seen the video. Oh, look, sounds like I'm going to have to look it up. Yeah, the first one was a, first bowl went down was a toucher and the second one went down and drew it off. That was Kate's bowl. Fantastic. Great to watch. She's uh, wearing the ADF shirt uh, this week, representing the Defence Force. She's a, a, a sailor, or an officer, sorry, from, from down my way, down at HMAS Albatross. It's 
This on a very good line too, Caitlin. How's your how's the speed? It's a little short again. The green may be slowing up a little more. And it's a have to give the bowls a fair hoik to get them end to end now, especially considering the, the the way it's slowing up and relative to what it was before. Or well, she's just punched that through, little inside edge, and probably got shot out of that actually by the looks of it. Yep, certainly. Mark has uh, put the one red paddle up. Tracking very well here. On. Just going to pull up short again, or is it going to get through? No, it's still one, one down. One red one still. Nine still Hold, holding game. Holding game, yeah. She will follow this to the head. I have no doubt. And yes, there she goes. Fair way out of that hand, but it's not a bad idea. There's some space there to just to draw. She can make a shot on that line. Well, it's all in this. All or nothing here for Caitlin. Having a good look. Going to stay with the backhand. Once again, that beautiful, smooth, mechanical delivery. It's all on speed. The line looks very good. It's going to need it to pull up. And it, it has. has. One blue. No lean shot left. I know what I'd be playing. What would you be playing? Bang. <laughs> Go hard. Exactly right. Yeah, two things to hit there. They're pretty close to each other. It's not turning as much as it was, and I still, th yeah, shot's definitely on. So it looks like he's. Just, we'll see. I think she's setting up. No, no it looks looks very draw like to me. Yeah, it doesn't look like she's attacking at all. Certainly didn't fizz out of her hand. It's a very good line. Oh, is it going to sneak off? Sure. Oh, she's drawn it. She put her head down like she didn't like it. Well, let's have a close look at this as the ladies move back to the head. Oh, I think the mark has gone for the red paddle. The magic oh, thing is... That's game That's over. Game. Well done, Nolan Dutton. That was a pretty epic game in the end. Uh, oh. You know, the scoreline probably doesn't really say no, it exactly doesn't. the competition, but, geez, Nolene played well in that consistently on Jack and uh, just didn't give, give Caitlin an inch. Well, she needed to play those big bowls because there were a couple of opportunities Caitlin had and Nolene just played the ultimate shot to uh, get herself out of trouble. But um, that's us signing off from Broad Beach today. Uh, Lockie, Val and uh, yourself will be at uh, Helensvale tomorrow. I'd like to thank the Gold Coast City Council and Tourism and Events Queensland and Apia for their support on day eight of the Australian Open 2023. Yeah, well done today, boys. Did a fantastic job. Just uh, for everyone's knowledge, yeah, we'll be at Helensvale tomorrow. Uh, we'll be bringing you men's singles knockout action and uh, probably some women's singles as well as we go deeper into the knockout rounds. So uh, tune in from 9am Australian Nation Standard Time tomorrow. There'll be a schedule of what exact games we have uh, go up later tonight. Well, uh, thanks, Lucky. Thanks, Hollywood. And uh, see you later on. Not all.